sorry, Kiwi's uh, fluttering around the bedroom. Um, so uh, in my in my time, it's Thursday, but by the time you guys see this, it will be Friday. Um, so uh, on Friday tomorrow evening, um, I'm going to make another visit to Scream Hollow. Um, one to drop off you know the number of bats that i get finished today um which if you guys are interested in i do have a giveaway going on and i will uh put a card up here to that video so that you guys can get the information on that giveaway um i'm giving away a 20 dollar gift uh, 20 dollar amazon gift card um so I'm going to be dropping off my bats that I've made up over the week and just to hang out. Um, you know, it doesn't cost me anything to get in because I'm a vendor up there, so I might as well go hang out. And I thought that it would be cool to go down there, um, you know, uh, closer to Halloween. So I'm going to make another trip up there. Also, in regards to giveaways and events going on the channel, um, I also have a Secret Santa uh event happening um which i will leave a card up here for as well if anybody wants to check that out that video will give you information on that um but anyways so since i'm going to scream hollow i i don't want to take i, I mean of course i'm going to take something to crochet but i didn't want to take um stuff to make bats because or, or any amigurumi just because that requires stuffing and safety eyes plus the yarn and I feel like it's a whole lot to put you know to be taking down there with me um I tried that the first time I went and of course I forgot the stuffing so I got part of the way into a bat and then was like oh crap <laughs> but anyways I did decide oops sorry I did decide on a pattern to take with me um and it is called the mermaid magic jacket now this is a drops design and it is available um on uh at garnstudio.com and Eventually, I'll probably be doing uh, a tutorial on it. Um, this is the... I'll put pictures up on, you know, on the screen so you guys can see it up close. Um, but I decided I wanted to do the cardigan, the cardigan version. They do have a pullover version. Um, the deciding factor in that was that I would... I'm going to shoot for making this big enough where it will fit me. Um, of course that may be questionable, but that's what I'm going to shoot for. Um, and it's going to be a little bit of an experiment. Um, so let me show you first off, this pattern is designed for a DK weight yarn. Um, and I have a ton of of these yarn be authentic hand dyed blends so this is what and they're not going to come up as vividly on screen as they actually are this one is confetti and so i have four of these this is what the two that i haven't already caked up look like um and then i have two that I've already caked up. So here's the first one that I caked up and you can see there's a huge difference in yarns when they're hanked versus when they're caked up. You know, this is probably going to be a little bit busy. And then this is the second one, which has, it's much brighter. Um, and it had a lot more pink in it than what this one did. And you can tell the difference. Um, and that just happens with hand dyed yarns. If you've never used a hand dyed yarn, that's typical. They never come out exactly the same. Also, the greens in the first one are much darker than the greens in this one. 
but they are the same uh they are the same color they may have been different dye lots though i don't know i got this stuff on clearance and i'm not going to pull the tag out of the center of these cakes to check the dye lots um so but this yarn is actually a lace weight it's a weight one and each hank has 400 yards and it's 3.5 ounces or like 99 and a half grams. 50% um, superwash merino wool and 50% lyosil. And so this pattern calls for a DK weight yarn. I do not have enough of any of the yarn be authentic hand dyed to do this pattern in any one color but I really want to work with it and so what I'm thinking is this was just the first color I picked out um, and it says that I need 400 grams worth of a DK I'm thinking and this is why it's gonna be an experiment I'm thinking about taking two different colors and I'm gonna pair them up together um, and hold two strands I believe that should give me about a DK weight and then I will need 400 grams so I mean of a lace weight I will need a total of, of I guess 800 grams um, but I'm thinking that is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and hold two strands together and hopefully that will give me a DK um, and we're going to see how it turns out because I do want to do this particular cardigan to fit me. I really like it. And this confetti color, I, I have always looked at this confetti color as being one that would go really good with this cardigan. Um, to me, it's very mermaidy with the blues and the greens and the purples and the pinks. It's in my head, it, it screams mermaid. So I'm thinking that I'm going to find another yarn be hand dyed that maybe is primarily a solid color or one that has maybe like little flecks of color in it and then hold the two together to make this jacket. Um, for my size, I need at least 400 grams. So hopefully I can pull this off <laughs> and hopefully I can make it look good. It's a huge experiment. Um, and I just decided to do it so that I would have something to take with me to, um, scream hollow. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think, um, in the comments below. Um, I'm interested to see what your guys' thoughts on this is because it is a huge experiment. Um, I did contemplate at one point, um, just making the whole, uh, cardigan in the weight one. Now, granted that would affect the size, um, because it's a thinner weight yarn. And of course the stitches would come out spaced further apart, which I have experimented with that a little bit, um, with another top that is actually in my Etsy shop now, um, but since I really wanted to make this cardigan for myself, I figured I would, you know, shoot for a, uh, a weight three, a DK weight by combining two strands. Um, and I will probably insert a, 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 a clip of the second color that I've picked out, you know, that way you guys have kind of an idea of what these two yarns will look like. Um, okay. This is, uh, what do you call it? Um, editing Adrian. <laughs> so I have some of this yarn B pigment and fiber in the colorway goodness grape. You can see there is actually what six different colors here. And I have three of these. So, as for uh, combining the two colors, or combining two colors, what I'm thinking is I can take this donut here 
and combined it with the darker colors. And so I have three, three of these. So I have three of each color. I'm going to need at least four. So I'm thinking with the darker ones, I will take and do the lighter color um, coral. This is actually kind of a cor corally color. And then with the lighter cakes here, I will combine it with the darker coral. Um, I thought about doing the teals. The only thing is I kind of like this one and these together. So I kind of want to leave the cream with these um, for a future project. Um, now, if you're not familiar with the Yarn Bee Pigment and Fiber, it is also a weight one. Um, and... It is 60% acrylic, 20% or 20% wool and 20% nylon. I don't know how many balls or how many how many yards is in each one of these balls. That's the thing. Um I'm wondering, my concern is that there's not going to be enough like I'll have to combine both of these with them. I have six of these, but on the label, it says that there is 5.2 ounces and 630 yards, but that does not tell me whether or not that is per ball or if that is the whole thing. Um, that's another thing you guys can let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, <laughs> hopefully some of y'all can let me know before I, cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave for Scream Hollow, um, till, I don't know, probably noonish or something of that nature. Um, yeah. Anyways, back to the video. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, yeah, definitely let me know what you think and, I will see you guys in my next video. Um, if you have suggestions, by all means, leave your suggestions in the comments below too, because I, I love experimenting with uh, yarns and, you know, different patterns, you know, whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>